This is an introductory video to the module on Brooks Automation. Brooks is a company I did research on a few years ago. I ran across this uh, filing from an activist, David Nuremberg, and I thought it was an excellent uh, example of an institutional investor's thought process as they looked at Brooks, uh, thought that it was a good value, expected the, the business to improve, and with the improving business, the valuation multiple to increase, and they laid that out very clearly in the, in the uh, filing. With the SEC, you can look it up on the SEC web, website and find the same filing that I sent out to you. So take a look at that letter to Brooks. Uh, I think you'll find it to be very typical of the thought process that uh, one would go through as an institutional investor. Uh, and so take a look at what uh, David Nuremberg is asking Brooks to do. The exercise uh, that we'll go through in this module is to have you look at what Brooks would be worth under two scenarios. One is, what would Brooks be worth if the valuation multiple increased uh, from one times revenues, where it is trading roughly at the time of the case, uh, to two times revenues? And under the same uh, valuation scenario, what if there's a buyback? So if there's a buyback uh, of stock and then the valuation multiple increases from one times revenues to two times revenues, what happens? How does the price target change? So there are a couple issues here that I'd like to have you take a look at in this exercise. One is looking at price targets. How do you calculate a price target? And you could be using uh, a multiple of EBITDA, a multiple of operating earnings, whatever you think is appropriate for this particular business in this particular industry. We'll use revenues because it's very simple. Uh, but it, it could be others, and uh, also the effect of a stock buyback. So I hope that you find this to be interesting. I look forward to seeing your discussion online.